Why is the pool so still? Well, it's actually that way because I need it off for what I'm going to show you. And secondly, I wanted to show you that the pool is in full operation and is running. There's just little pockets of leaves in the corners and whatnot. I ran Robot, but there's always new stuff that comes in. So everything is fully operational. I've been in the pool three, four, five, six times already. And then disaster struck yet again. This is the year of the equipment failures. Now, we already had the pump die, and I fixed that. We had a problem with the manual air relief on the filter, which is over here. That cleared itself out eventually. I could have taken the top off and cleaned it and manually and all that, but it was able to clear itself out. Over here, if I can fold these leaves back a little bit, maybe you can see that the label on it has faded uh, tremendously over the years that is a gold line GVA-24 automatic valve let me see if I could zoom in on that for you just so you could see it a little bit better right there so that's a GVA-24 it was gold line Hayward bought out gold line so now it's Hayward Gold Line. Nine years ago, I had a video showing a failure with this and how I was able to fix it. It was a very ingenious solution. At the end of that video, I said that you should be good to go for another 10 years. Well, I was close. Here we are, nine years and one month from that video. And it's died. We got a big problem now. This controls the solar heating on the roof. Found out about this last night. It was operating fine all day yesterday, so sometime in the evening hours it failed. And I heard it because I was out here in the evening and I heard chunk, 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 some kind of sound like that. And I said, what the hell is going on? So I poked around here and it was that valve. In that valve is a motor and a gear train. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you some excerpts from that video that I made nine years ago, just so you can see what the problem was and how I was able to revive it. Came home from work today. I was out in the backyard and I heard this sound. And you can see it's barely moving. I'm going to shut it so it works its way back. So in here basically what you have is a synchronous motor that will run in uh, one direction or the other and two micro switches which are your limit switches. This is a cam right here that hits the switch and tells it when uh, it's hit the end of its travel and stops the motor. And uh, the control box here tells it uh, to heat or cool or open or close the valve or what have you. Okay, so now I have the two screws for the motor out, and you just pick it up. Now, if you look carefully at it, it's worn. Now, I don't know what a replacement looks like, but I would expect that the shaft on it would be all the same size. So basically, what I want to do is get that end part of the gear, which looks to be in good shape, to mesh with that. How do we do that? We raise the motor up. And to do that, we're just going to use some washers. So here's a couple of washers, and if you notice, that's just about exactly the size of that worn area. So if I shim this by putting these two washers here and here, that's effectively going to lift the motor up and engage the end part of the gear with the gear train inside. Okay, I've gone ahead and placed the motor on top. You can see the washers that I have installed there and over here. I've just started the screws. Now all we need to do is just tighten them down. Just till they're snug. Just about there. And then this one. Okay, the motor is rigidly mounted. Doesn't want to go anywhere. And now when we actuate it, yeah, it makes noise certainly, but it runs. 
So here we are nine years later, and I'm opening the cover yet again. Just have to unscrew this. I've taken the four screws out for the assembly. Take that out. I've got my little part straight. The handle pulls right off. Put that over there. One, two, and on the other side in the same spots are the screws that you need to take out. And then the cover comes off and that reveals the motor. I need to get the camera off the tripod and get in close unless maybe you can just barely see. I think you actually can. I'll see if I could just get you in. Let me reposition here a little bit. If you look closely, here's one of the screws for the motor and on the other side another one. Shiny gold looking things in here. Those are washers that I put in and that as I showed had raised the motor up to make the gear uh, engage better. Um, it's possible that those screws have loosened. Oh, you know something. It's not exactly that, you know. So let's just see. A little loose, but nothing to really speak of. Yeah, a little loose, but that's definitely a lot more stable. I know it's worn and all of that. Um, I'm thinking it might operate with the cover off. So I'm gonna plug it back in. It's running. It's noisy. And it's having trouble. Let's see if I can kinda help it. So that's no good. Let me pull those screws and we'll take a look. The screws are pulled. Use this hand, pull the motor. Yep, exactly as I expected. Let me set that there. And I'm gonna try to zoom you in right on that gear of the motor if I can. Let's get a nice tight shot of that. There you go. Now, in the original video, you had seen a strip in this, in the center. So this part down here was good. Then there was a line, and I can feel a few things. I can feel the area that is now worn down due to it being shimmed from the uh, washers, and the very tip of it, which was not making contact with the gear, is still intact so this motor is done for and that's a problem that is what the problem is however there are gears inside quick glance here they look okay however there are six screws that are in there. I'm going to pull those and I'm going to look off camera to see if I can determine uh, how the gear train inside looks. There's a close-up of the tag on the motor with the information and it looks to have four wires on it. So there are the gears inside. This one popped out. I think it went there. It may have gone there the other way, I don't know. I'm going to find out when I go to put it back together. But all of the gears inside are metal, which is what I found before. And all of the gears look to be absolutely intact. It's just the motor shaft gear that's buggered up. So at the very least, I'm going to need to put a motor in this 
As far as anything else, I haven't taken the valve apart any further to know for sure if that is an entire assembly that just comes off or anything. So I think really the best course of action, I'm going to see if I can get a motor for it first. And if I can, then I'll see about just splicing that, the wires together and that'll be more than fine. If the motor is manufactured exactly the same as it was, then I should be able to get nearly 20 more years out of it. Because if it runs for approximately 10 years without a failure and then fails and that gear is the same length, which I'd expect it probably is, I can then raise it up with the same washers that I used originally and get another almost 10 years out of it. So uh, there's not much else to see here. We know that the motor shaft gear is the problem. So I'm going to have to see if I can source a motor. If not, I can definitely get the whole valve assembly. It's not that big of a deal. I believe that I should be able to swap in whatever parts I need, even though it's rather wasteful. I'd rather just get the motor, but it is what it is. <clears throat> in the meantime, of course, I can just operate it manually, and that way I'll just have to do it manually. But that's all I have for now. There will be a part two of this when I get some replacement parts. I don't know if I'll record the repair of it because you're just replacing parts that are already there. So they go back exactly the same way. But that's going to do it for now. Definitely a sad time indeed. Did not expect this in any way, shape or form whatsoever. There was no warning of this. It never was noisy or made any abnormal sounds or anything, just up and died. And that's exactly what happened the first time. It just up and died and that was the end of it. There was no warning whatsoever, it just died. So that's it. Uh, like I said, they're readily available so I can certainly get the entire assembly, but that's it for now. Thank you so kindly for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.